Hello, this is Mike, and uh, I finally got the uh, wheels on the diesel. There on the left is the set of wheels from the dirt first diesel trailer, and the wheels on the right are from the second diesel trailer. And if you notice, you'll see that uh, they're a little bit different diameter. So, anywho, got it done. Here's the truck. Old David Beeson's truck's pulling uh, the Wood Brothers. Yeah. Uh, there's the truck. And there's the trailer. Not too bad. At least it's got matching wheels on it. They might not be brand new looking. But they vintage matchbox wheels. Indeed. And truck looks pretty. The trailer looks more level than it did when I had it on the other wheels. It still has just a slight bit of slope down the back, but that's uh, fine with me. It's not as drastic as it was with them other wheels. And if I wanted to, I could fix it. I could take these axles back off, build it up in the back, put them back on again, and it'd bring it on up more, but uh we'll wait until i get them on a shelf and see if, if it's uh if it stands out a whole lot there we may have to do that but right now it's gonna stay as is no doubt so anyway that's that did that last night when i got home around about it was around one o'clock in the morning something like that but as i said yesterday it was gonna be an easy thing to do anywho a lot easier than the first one was because I had uh, all five axles to work with. I had to take the truck and the diesel apart. So, anywho, I'm going to push these over here out the way and hopefully they don't roll away. All right. Yeah, I got these done too. I'm going to lay them up here. Let y'all see them. Uh, give me a minute. I'm lining them up. All right, got them done. Yeah, any of y'all watched yesterday's videos, you know what they've off of. Yeah, I couldn't stand it. Had to do it. I put me some bead locks on my new blazer that Alpha sent me. Yeah, I see something here. I'm gonna zoom in a couple clicks. See if that'll focus in. I wasn't, I wasn't watching the video as I was making it. I was looking over the screens. I wasn't noticing if it was uh, out of focus and all. But there you go. There's the four uh, the wheels from the blazer. And we got to get... Oh, yeah, they get the, you know, these bead locks on it. I was thinking about maybe cutting on stem and moving them in some but these here work perfect you know they come off of that uh off of that gmc hummer electric the yellow one that's what these wheels come from and here's the bronco and these wheels came from a different vehicle i believe it was uh fantasy casting that had these wheels on it and so i uh Took them off and used them on here. I had two, uh, the axles was long on this one. So what I did is, is I put a little bit of JB weld on the end of the, all four corners of the ends of the axles, rode the wheel around on the JB weld, they put it together and slid the tire in on the axle until it got up to the frame. So the little nail head there kind of is not is, in, is not way in there like it should be, but I'm fine with it. It don't look too bad. I think I got a little bit of JB weld on that nail head. It's dark, and these are shiny. Oh, well, can't get them all perfect. But anyhow, I'm rolling this one, and I feel like, like a little bit of a rear, rub on the rear tires. Uh, I don't, I don't know where the, it looks like that it might be rubbing the, 
the metal part, the metal part of the body. But I ain't sure. But it ain't no big deal. I ain't gonna be rolling it much anyway. It's gonna be sitting you know, on display, you know, on a shelf with the rest of them one of these days. But it don't look too bad. I don't guess. Uh, I like I like the looks of the bead locks better than I do those anyway. Yeah, sure enough. So we're going to slide it. Well, we're going to slide this in here, but if I move that back, it will. Whoa. All right. Now, got one last item. Got one little last item that I fooled with before I called it quits for the night. Well, actually... I, I, I worked, did a little more work on it this morning, but uh, I'm trying to get the wheels laid out here now. Y'all see those wheels? Some more of them ugly looking wheels with hardly no rubber on the rim. Well, I took them off of this next vehicle. And I put some of my favorite five spokes on it from Pontiac. Yeah, let's show the Pontiac first. There's the Pontiac. I didn't have, I didn't have any other little small gray wheels, so I left the wheels. I didn't need these wheels, so when I took the Pontiac apart, I left the front wheels on the Pontiac, and I throw these ones on it for now. Uh, I might chrome these later, but who knows? I, I don't know what to do. I just throwed it back together so I wouldn't lose the base and the frame you know i mean the base interior windshield you know trying to keep it together so anyway that's that one but anyway i robbed the rear wheels from this pontiac and i already had two or three sets of these skinny wheels and so i put all that on this one here a 71 model el camino and I may put a bed cover on this because uh, the 68 looks so good with the bed cover. And it's got this dead gum old red and blue inside. So if I put a bed cover on here, that'll cover up that. And, and also, this thing had a white decoration stripe, like, all the way down the side. And in the door, it had, like, a picture of a... Of a uh, life preserver from a ship you know one of them round ones with a rope running through it and all that wrapped around it i guess this is, it had uh, some kind of something to do with the uh, ocean i guess i don't know i don't even remember where i got this car don't even know if it come out of a five pack or if someone sent it to me but I removed all the decals all the way down the side on both sides, and I left that. I left that on the on on the hood for now. But uh, anyway, that's what we got there. My favorite wheels, and also this here El Camino came with narrow tires on the back. Well, there was just enough room to to fit in some uh, of the super wides, the fifties. Yeah, got the fifties on the back, and I'm happy with it. But anyway, that's all I had for today. Not much in the diggum. Uh, I've done run down just about out of JB Weld. I've been struggling to get JB Weld. I mean, struggling to get some out of these tubes. This tube's leaking. Well, it's got a hole in the side of it, so I had to. Uh, kind of wrap it up but as you can see i'm just about run out of jb weld so i guess my wheel swappings is just gonna be over with there for a few days some of you probably saying yeehaw but <laughs> i can't help it i like to do the wheel swaps when i can and there's one i was gonna show y'all uh Let's see. Just a second, guys. Yeah, uh, let me get situated here. Uh, 
I was going to show y'all what, what I keep my tires in. I showed a jar of tires one time, but there is wheels that will go on cars I won't keep. These are wheels that come off of cars I want to keep. And here's some more, more wheels and yet more wheels. So that's how many wheels I have that ain't on nothing. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and that's just the hot wheel wheels. Uh, I got one more container and here it is. And it's got all the, uh, M2 wheels in it. Oh, it's got a sticker on that side. Can't see. But anyway, they're going to glare. Uh, it's, uh, it's full of wheels. I tell you three sets per package and there's five packages. And then on, uh, up uh, on top of those five packages is a pack of, uh, wheels that goes to the van. I ain't never put together. And it's two sets in it. And then in the zip, zip lock bag, there's two zip lock bags. One of them's got diesel truck wheels from this big truck. You know, the large scale. And then the other bag has got some, uh, green light and M2 rubber tires and wheels in it. So. I, uh, got plenty of tires and wheels to deal with. I, I say plenty. I got a lot of them, but sometimes I don't have what I want or need. It's just like, uh, the, uh, these, these favorite wheels of mine, I just about run out of the, of, of them as far as in the jars. That's why I'm having to rob them off of cars. Don't, uh, I don't have any left in these jars except for gold ones but anyway uh i'm gonna get on out of here and uh if y'all leave a comment and i don't answer right away it's because i'm off busy because as soon as i get this video uploaded i'm probably gonna have to go do, cut some firewood for the boss it's already cut, but I mean, cut and split, but it's too long for the little fireplace outside they use. And so I got to cut it in half again. I mean, cut it. Yeah. Cut again, I got to cut it in half to where to fit in the little bitty fireplace he's got outside. So got, got, got to do that and got some other things to do. So like I said, if, uh, if, uh, if you leave a comment and I don't answer right away and, and I'll don't freak out, I'll get to your comments within a few hours if possible or the next day. It all depends on what happens. It looks like it could rain any minute, but anyhow, until next time, I want to thank everyone for watching. This is Mike and I am gone. Bye-bye.